Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture of the Fourier series. Today we will discuss about the heat flow equation. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. This lecture is the continuation of the previous one where we discussed the Fourier series convergence and the one wave, one dimension wave equations are there. Now we will discuss about the heat flow equation. What is the heat flow equation is there? Suppose you have some thin bar or you can say this is a road whose ends are fixed at the point O and the A which is separated by distance L. Then the heat is flow at from this way you can burn this one here then definitely the heat flow in this direction are there and which is then the heat energy which is definitely a second order differential equation which is governed by here where C is my positive constants and some boundary conditions are given to you that is the initial here it has some temperature T1 here is at the temperature T2 and the initial condition is about the initial temperature is given about here and the objective of this lecture is we will see what are the various cases we will discuss the three cases and the seven examples are there in this presentation when we consider this initial temperature as of the sine and cosine form when initial temperature is the form of the polynomials or when they are, whenever they are unknown. We will discuss the respective examples here. Firstly, we will find the solution of the heat equations are there. That's very simple. As we discuss the wave equation, we will do in the same manner. We will consider the two functions x and y which are both independent to each other. And here x is again independent of the t and this is independent of the x. We can substitute this value here we will get this equation. This is the partial derivative of t. So this is x of t prime and so on. Now both are independent. So it means both are equal. So I consider both as a k is there. Can you find the differential equation from here? You can see this is nothing but my ordinary differential equation. Here this is the unknown parameter k. So we have considered a three case when it's a positive zero or less than. Whenever it's a positive, so assume that k is nothing but my p square, we can substitute here. Can you find the solution of this? You can easily see that this is m square minus p square is 0, m is my plus minus p. So we can write the equations as of here for the x and this is for my t. So I can substitute this x and t here, we can get the solution of this differential equation. Similarly, case 2, when k is my 0, then we will get k is 0, then it is a x double prime is 0. We can solve this, this is here. Again, we can substitute this value here, we will get the solution as of this. Similarly, for the corresponding to the third case, k less than 0, we consider as k as a minus p square. Now it's a sine and cosine, this is the exponential part. So therefore, we can conclude that corresponding to this differential equation, there are the three solutions is there. Again, you can see this is my arbitrary constant. So if you multiply them, C1, C3, that is my another constant. C2, C3 is my another constant. So I can transform like this way. So I can consider C1, C3 as a C1 and so on. Out of these three solutions, which one will satisfy this? So it will depending upon the physical property of the problem. Since in the given road, the temperature is decreases as the temperature is increases whenever you in whenever the temperature is decreases whenever you increase the time that is whenever it is decreases with the time so you can see this exponential part can never be decreased whenever t approaches to the infinity so it means this solution can never be there this is independent of time it means this is the constant with respect to them so it can never be there the only solution will be here due to the presence of this negative part so we can start the solution of always starting from here. So we will discuss the seven illustrative examples are there. Let's see the first case whenever your initial temperature like of this in the form of sine and cosine. Say here this is my initial condition. So this is in the form of sine form. So this is my type 1. That's a very simple since this is my heat equation we can start from here. I can substitute firstly the boundary conditions. This is my boundary condition and this is my boundary condition. You can substitute this value in here, we will get this expression x is 0, cos of 0 is 1, sin of 0 is 0. So from here you can see that either c1 is 0 or either this is 0. But clearly sees that this can never be 0 because if it is 0 then this u becomes my 0 that is called as the trivial solution but we always need a non-trivial. So it means c1 is 0. So I can substitute c1 here, we will get here. We can substitute the second boundary condition u1, 0 that is x is 1, t is my t. Again you can see here. So from here either c2 is 0, either sin p will be 0 
or e raised to power minus p square is zero. When this will be zero, then you can see that this complete will be zero, so it can never be zero. Whenever c two will be zero, u again is zero, so it can never be zero. So the only non-trivial solution is my sine p is zero. It means p is my n p. I can substitute the value of the p in here. We will get this expression, and I can write that as a u of n because n is my positive integer. Now, using the principle of this operation, as we discussed in the wave equation, we can write here. Apply this boundary conditions. They apply this initial condition. When you substitute t is zero, this value becomes a one, and here. Now you can equate the coefficients. Once you will equate the coefficient, but if the n is one, that is a d one sine pi x. So d one is zero. There is no sine pi x. D two is zero. The only term is my d of n. I can substitute this value here. You can see this is the right answer of the problem because n is one, d one. That is a zero, and so on. Look at the second example. Are there again? In this case, this is the eighty centimeter long. That is my eighty centimeter long. Initial temperature is my here. So that is the initial condition is given. Again, this is of the sine form, so it is my type one. While the angles are kept at zero degree Celsius, so it means this is my zero degree Celsius. So we can start from here. I can substitute this value firstly in here. Again, you will easily get the C one as a zero as similar. I can substitute the second boundary condition. At comma T is zero. Again, this can never be zero. This can never be zero. This will be zero. We can get as a K. I can substitute K as here. We will get this expression. Apply the supervision principle. We can write like this way. Now we can apply the initial condition. We will get here. Again, you can equate the coefficient because of the sine and cosine four. What is the d one? That is the coefficient of the sine pi x by eighty. That is a hundred. What is the coefficient of the d two? Is a zero, and all others are my zero. I can substitute this value in here. What is the required answer? Is that this is my required answer? We will discuss the second form when the uh, initial temperature, that is a u of x comma zero, is the form of the polynomial like of this. You can see this is my polynomial, so it is my type of two. Again, this is the heat equation we have to discuss about here. As we can see, there are the three cases, but the, according to the first case, whenever t approaches infinity, it is not finite. But in this case, whenever u goes to the infinity, what is the value of the u? This is infinite, so it can never be possible. So the only case is here and here. But if you think about that, partial derivative is zero. What is the partial derivative of this with respect to x? That is my constant. So it means this is my zero. So therefore, u is my always be a constant. That's a trivial answer. So it means we will consider about this solution. Now I can substitute this value for the partial derivative. We can compute them. Apply this condition. X is zero. You can substitute here. At x is zero and x is l. From here, again you can see either c zero, either p zero, or e raised to power minus c square of this is zero. This can never be zero because if this is zero, you can see this value is complete zero. And c two, this is a constant number, so only condition about is that c two will be zero. Similarly for here, when c two will be zero, so this part will be my zero. This part can never be zero, so it means this part will be zero. C1 again can never be zero because if C1 is zero, C2 is zero. This part is complete zero, so this is never be zero. Sine of PL is my zero, so we can count that P as of this. We can substitute this value in here. We will get the solution as of this. Once you can write this, again apply the supervision principle again here. Now apply this initial condition. There's a similar steps we can follow. Here, this is the polynomial, so I can consider as f of x. Which is the half range cosine series because this is the cos is the cosine series. So whenever it's a cosine series, your target is to find the value of a zero and a n. A zero and a n is the coefficient of this. So this is the d of n. We can find the value of the d zero and the d of n. What is the value of the f x? This is the value of the f x we can consider. L x minus x square. You can substitute here. What is the value of the l is? L is my l. You can substitute l here. Again, we can substitute the value of the f x here. We can get here. You can integrate by parts. You will get the solution as of this sine of n pi. Clearly, see that whenever n is my even, this value will becomes my two double. Whenever n is my odd, it becomes my zero. So this is the value of the d n. I can substitute this value of the d n in here. We will get the required solution. Since this is my even, 
so i can change this value from the 1 to infinity provided i can replace the value of the n to be the 2 of n you can see i can change this value as of the 2 of n whole square i can change this value as of 2n and so on look at the type third we will again consider when the initial temperature is unknown like of this you can see a uh, insulated rod of the end a and b you can see this is the length a and b which is maintained at 0 degree celsius and 100 degree celsius this is the boundary condition so you can see that initial conditions are there 0 at the length l is my 100 and under the steady state when the b is suddenly reduced to the 0 this is when you reduce them to the 0 and again maintain them as a 0 but you can see initial condition is not given to you so that is very simple that means initial condition is not given to you we will discuss here because this 0 and 0 because of here we will see in the next example where it can be changes to some another number what is the meaning of the steady state is that is a partial derivative is my 0 so it means this is can you integrate this by parts or you can solve them you will get here substitute this value in here we will get these two equations to find the value of a and b i can therefore the initial condition is my here so it means this value is nothing but 100 x by l so 100 x by l is again my polynomial so once it's a polynomial we can use them as a part type of two as discussed in the previous example so since it is a heat equation we can start from here and initial condition is this we can start from this value firstly i can substitute this value in here we will get as a c10 we can substitute u of l comma t you will get as p of this substitute this value here we will get these principal values r now apply u of x comma 0 that's a similar r there it's a polynomial so it is f of x since it is of the sine form so we can say for your half range sine series once it is a sine series we can compute the value of the bn like of this but here what is the bn is coefficient of the sine that is a d of n so i can write this as what is that this is n pi x by l we can write as a dn of it we can substitute the value of the fx as my this if you integrate by parts you will get this answer as this now substitute this value of the dn here you will get the required solution of this problem look at the another one is there that's a similar to the previous one but you can see these values are changed what is that if the road a and b which is of the 20 centimeter long and 30 degree and 80 degree are the initial temperature so it means this is my conditions are there. what is the l is my 20 and if the temperature of the ends are changed to the 40 and 60 that is a 40 changing at here and at the upper end that is a up to 20 length is 60 so again initial condition is not given to you but it is given to you that you have to solve the problem so since it is given to you as a steady state we again solve this problem like here i can substitute this value here you can find the value of the a and b therefore initial condition is my in this now what is the difference between the previous course is since this value is a non-zero but in the previous case these values are zero since in this example it is non-zero so we can take the solution as of u of s that is called as the steady state solution and u of t as of my previous one that is what is the u of t is that is as of this one but how you can find the us that is the steady state is whatever here there is a 40 initial plus slope of my x what is the slope is there that is a 60 and 40 60 minus 40 that is a y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so 60 minus 40 20 minus 0 is there so this is the value of the us so i can substitute us here ut is here we can get the solution as of this now this is the boundary condition we can apply firstly here and then later on we will apply this one. once you will apply this 40 will be cancelled out c1 either c1 is 0 or this 0 this can never be 0 because it will gives to here so it means c1 will be 0 similarly we can apply the second condition we will get p as of this substitute this value in here we will get this expression now apply the principle of this operation we can write as a summation part now we can write here again you can see this part is my polynomial this is here we can see this is my polynomial so once it's a polynomial we can apply by using the type 2 here is a sign so it is a Fourier sign series so we can compute the value of the dn like of this f of x is my 3x by 2 we can solve this by parts we will get this expression therefore 
we can substitute this value of the dn into the given expression of here we will get the required answer as this look at the another one is there again you can see now f of x is the initial temperature given but this is in the form of the polynomial so that's a very simple task are there the length is given to be 100 so this is the length is given to be 100 and kept at the zero temperature so it means the end temperature is zero initial condition is by fx again that's a very simple you can start from here substitute the initial conditions you will get c1 is zero substitute the second boundary condition u 100 comma t you will get as n of this substitute this value here c1 is zero c2 is there we will get the principle of this now this value apply this initial conditions we will get this since this is my polynomial so we can solve this with the half range sine series this because this is a sine so it's a sine series that's very simple again you can see 2 by l in this example what is the value of the l is there l is my 100 so 2 by l 0 by 100 now i can break this integration according to this f of x 0 to 50 50 to 100 is there after the integration you can solve them you will get this value even is even and odd we can substitute this value as in this super principle we can substitute this value here we will get the required solution this example you can do it yourself you can see that this is the sign of the form whether it's a type 1 and type 2 i can give you the hint uh, since both the ends are insulated so it means the rate of the change is zero at both at the end points so we can apply the previous one we can take the derivative of this and apply x is 0 x is l we can compute this value now here left hand side is on the sign but the right hand side is called so it can never be compared so it means we can apply the Fourier half range cosine series so we can compute the value of the d0 dn it is clearly sees that n is not equal to 1 so we have to compute d1 separately and this is the you can verify it whether it's a correct or not you can tell me your answer in the comment box we will see in the next class we will see some more lectures on the Fourier series Laplace distribution all are available at my channel name Dr. Harishkar playlist is the mathematics 2 you can simply like this video and share with your friends till then best of luck students happy learning